The following is a commercial program paid for by Little Rock Trojan Sports Properties and the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. The opinions and views expressed belong to its sponsors and are not those of Nexstar Broadcasting Incorporated, the station, or their affiliates or employees. Tucker, the Daryl Walker Coaches Show is brought to you by Stevens Incorporated, Dillard's Department Stores, Cleve Addy, Bath Makeover of Arkansas, Zips Car Wash, and Leaf Guard of Arkansas. Basketball fans, it is hard to believe, but just four games left in the regular season for our Sunbelt Little Rock Trojans. Um, Darrell Walker, this, this basketball season has just blown by. You guys have been uh, very, very successful. The good thing right now is that we've got four games left and your team's sitting atop the Sunbelt standings. <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, one game lead with four games to go, and I told my team we control our own destiny. Uh, we got Arkansas State Saturday, so we got to come out and try to get a win. Now, you would have taken this one game lead before the season <laughs> started at this juncture. Hey, right, let's, talk, let's be honest. We've been doing this show for a while, and I kept saying we had a three-game a three game lead. You lose two in a row, and, and, and things are back to normal. You're almost in second or third place. So, uh, hopefully, we've been shell-shocked these last couple of games. Every time we've lost two games this year, we've bounced back and went on a long winning streak. We, we call it the, the Texas road swing. I call <laughs> it the Texas two-step, and we didn't dance very well on the road no, this week. No, we, we had some club feet out there, I can tell you that, man. We did, we did not play well. Ray. Uh, but give Texas State some, some credit. Now, they jumped on top of us, and we couldn't, we couldn't get, get back to the top. And give them some credit, and Arlington played well against us, too. All right. Game one of the week was at uh, San Marcos, Texas. Uh, let's take a look at highlights. Well, they, they jumped up. We didn't shoot the ball well in the first, the first, the first half at all. Uh, they missed 19 shots in the first half and got 13 offensive rebounds. So the, uh, our rebounding has to get better. Uh, that's Nigel Pearson right there, really a really good basketball player for Danny Casper's team. You know, they made shots, they offensive rebound, the basketball, and we just didn't, we didn't, we didn't play well. We were out of sync uh, and just never could get it going. They jumped on us, and I mean, they jumped on us quick. I was trying to figure out who this basketball team was I was watching. <laughs> well, what, what do you think about me sitting over there, standing <laughs> over there like this ain't the team I've seen the last seven games. So uh, we tried to go to our little 13 defense, one three one a trap to take them out of their offense and their rhythm. Uh, but we did a good job of getting stops but we just couldn't get the rebound. I mean, we gave up 13 offensive rebounds uh, off of 19 missed shots. It's going to be hard to win basketball games that way. We have had so many balls this year that bounced our way and, and you're just battling for a rebound and may go off the other team's chest and we catch it and put it back through. Uh, this was the first game all season where that had kind of gone the other way on us. Yeah, it, it did. We didn't get the 50-50 balls. And I'm going to say it again, Ray, I, I thought that Danny Casper's team jumped on top of us and we just, uh, we didn't handle it. Uh, we kind of went into a shell and then we tried to come out of the shell. We've dug the, the, uh, the hole was too deep uh, to get back out. I think we got it down to six or seven, Ray, and just couldn't get over the hump. They've got a big guy a sophomore named Sule, and he uh, he um, he Sule us. He Trust me. us. <laughs> he Sule us. I mean, this kid. Ole Sule, whatever. I mean, he he was just. I told our bigs, he just destroyed us. Uh, I think he had a career high 26 and 13, something like that. He played well, and they hope they whole team played well. Uh, we turned the ball over about 17, 18 times, and you're not going to win. You giving up offensive rebounds and turning the ball over. It's just going to be hard. And that's Marquise driving, trying to find a lane, but they were locked in on him. Uh, like I told him, they're going to be locked on him all year. So uh, it's just what he's going to have to deal with, we're going to have to deal with. And here he's matched up against a guy his size, I, I say all the time, when he gets a bigger guard on him, and they let him get the ball off the dribble, they can't, they can't stay. Well, no, he, he, has, he has the quickness factor, but he had this kid, this kid Harold, who you know, was Oklahoma Player of the Year, averaged about 34 points a game. He's a pretty good player himself. Uh, solid player, plays point guard for Texas State, and that was a really pretty good matchup right there. And that's him handling the ball right there. I thought in the second half, Ray, we, we got after a little bit better. I thought we uh, we defended a little bit better. Uh, we attacked them and had a chance to get over the hump. We just couldn't get over the hump. We, we Let's be honest, we dug ourselves a big hole. You were doing the game watching it on the sidelines, Ray. We dug ourselves a big hole. You, you, you got down to, got it down to six with about three minutes left. 
um, and, and there was a call that went went against us. That uh, it could have it could have went either way. It, it yeah. could have been it could have been a flop, offensive foul, really, for kicking Kamani uh, in in the stomach with uh, on his jump shot. But they, it went the other way, and uh, that's the way it's going to be on the on the road. Nobody's going to give you anything, Ray. You must take it on the road. You must go in and play with composure and play with poise. And we didn't do any of that. You know, for the game, we end up shooting 50 percent, uh, 22 of 44. Yeah, in the first half it wasn't good, and that's, no. how, that's how we got down. And then we came back and shot the shot the ball well. We usually shoot the ball pretty well. That's us in our little 21 defense. Great steal right there by Jovan for for a bucket. Uh, they went, were down 37 to 18, trying to figure it out. And I kept saying, let's get it down to 10 or 12 before halftime. A beautiful pass right there by Kamani to Root Manyan. So we're down 17 right now with a minute and 50 some seconds left, and we get a steal right here. Uh, they outscored us in the paint, 42-28, which kind of surprised me. It's usually me. the other way around, but yes. when you but when you get 15 offensive rebounds, most of those putbacks are going to be in the paint. So I, I told them, I told Danny Casper uh, after the game, I said, you know what, you probably given us something that we needed. We probably got a little cocky, and I'm not going to say we got cocky. I think we just got a little soft, as I, I like to say. I thought my team got a little soft, and hopefully we can correct that this week in practice. Uh, final score in this one, 74-66, but you guys did battle back and a strong second. Now, this team is never going to give up. They're going to battle back, but that, 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 that hole we dug was so high and so deep, we just, we just couldn't get out of it. All right, we continue the Texas road swing. Uh, we, we road bust, swing, a massacre, yeah, whatever yeah, you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, we bust from San Marcos up to, to Arlington and got ready to take on the Mavs. It was a Saturday afternoon game at 2 o'clock. We'll have highlights of that. We come back with more of the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. Are you tired of climbing over that old outdated bathtub? What if I told you a brand new beautiful walk-in shower was only a phone call away? From Mountain Home to El Dorado, Bath Makeover of Arkansas is your trusted local source for bathroom remodeling. Bath Makeover offers a full line of bathtubs, showers, and accessibility products such as walk-in bathtubs and barrier-free shower bases. Bath Makeover products are made in the USA and include a lifetime warranty plus a five-year workmanship warranty. Take advantage of our winter savings sale. Call now to save 50% off labor. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. Little Rock, the conference season is in full swing. Become a part of the action and get to the Jack Stevens Center to watch your Trojans. Single game tickets start as low as $9 with plenty of opportunities for special group outings, including sweet nights, terrace experiences, or even a night on Derek Fisher Court for your corporate events. Coach Walker has his program rolling at the start of the new year, while Coach Joe Foley and company look to keep their winning tradition alive. For more information and to learn how to get your individual or group tickets, call the Little Rock Trojan box office today at 565-8257 or visit lrtrojans.com. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. All right, uh, second game of the week was at uh, Texas Arlington. Uh, nice, nice arena, had, had a nice afternoon, ended up with a nice crowd. And once again, we <laughs> got off to a slow start as we take a look at highlights. Well, we've been getting off the slow starts right now. As you can see, we're down, we're down five to zip just that quick. And uh, we can't do that on the road. Teams are, we are the hunted now. We have a target on our back. We have to come out ready to play from the beginning, and we didn't do that. You know, beautiful move by Marquise right there to get us on the, on the scoreboard. Uh, they played, they played well. 
they, they played well. They, 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 they offensive rebound just like Texas State did. Uh, we just couldn't get into a groove. Uh, we finally got back in the basketball game in the second half and had a chance to go up one. You know, I, 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 their record is, is pretty deceiving to me. I, when, they when play they're hard. On, they're, they're pretty darn good. They're, they're fast. They're small. Basically, they're, they're out there playing with basically five guards and one guy is about six, seven. So they're small. They're quick. Uh, you know, we, we, the next time we ever see these guys, we must have take advantage of points in the paint like we did the last time we played this team, but we didn't do it this time. And give them credit. They came out and, and they won the basketball game. We have to regroup and get ready for Arkansas State. That's Marquis trying to get open, pick and roll. Nice pass over there to Marco Lucas who can flat out shoot the basketball. You know that, Ray. Uh, we just down 15 to 9 and just kept, you know, with seven minutes left in the first half, we had 10 turnovers. 10 turnovers. You know, it's going to be hard to win basketball games. That's Nicola backing down right there. You know, nice pass over there to Lottie. Nice finish by the big fella right there. You know, as a radio play-by-play -play guy, when you, <laughs> when you have 10 turnovers, uh, you can't sugarcoat it, Darrell. No, no, you can't, you can't hide it. You can't come up with anything new. Only thing you can say is, is the Trojans turn the ball over again, and that's what we did 10 times with seven minutes left in the first half, and that's a lot of turnovers. We wind up having 16, 17 turnovers for the game. It's hard to win that way. It's just hard to win that way. It really is. And that's Lottie trying to turn the corner right here. A little pick and roll action. A beautiful high low right there from Nicola and, and uh, Kamani, who I thought played solid basketball right there. So, you know, we, we just got to keep pounding. We got some, you know, a whole week to get ready for Arkansas State and get some of our toughness back. Uh, I thought we've been soft the last two games, so hopefully we can correct that in practice this week. And when you say soft, uh, explain what you mean. By I just that. mean just defensively. We're not, we're not defending like we were. Uh, I know we're a little different team offensively because we got some more guys that can score, but we, we just got to get back to the intensity we had defensively. I think we've lost that a little bit, and hopefully we can pick it up this week in practice. There's Root Young off the dribble. Yeah, that's a beautiful pass to uh, uh, Ben Coupet for, for a dunk. You know, we're, we're creeping back in the basketball game, had some turnovers down the stretch again. Uh, I thought half-court defensive-wise, Ray, I thought when they ran that motion offense, I thought we defended it very well. That's a beautiful steal by Root right there. But turning the ball over and offensive rebounds is, is what really got us. Because those turnovers put them out in transition. Nice move by Yovan. He's getting better. He's getting more confidence. He wouldn't put the ball on the floor like that uh, a month and a half ago in the season. So he's going with some confidence, too. That's Warren, their little guard. Oh, he's tough. He had 21 on us. And that's a great uh, uh, slide over by Kamani to take a charge. But I thought our half-court defense was really, really good. Uh, but we turned that basketball. You turn that basketball over, man, it, it leads to baskets on the other end. It's not good. It's not good. Beautiful pass by Lottie to uh, Kamani with a nice finish. Nice wraparound pass. Yeah, and it's Warren. He is really fast. Once again, Ben Coupet takes a charge. I was proud of my team standing in there and taking charges, and th they definitely did that. I thought offensively, Ray, we did not play with pace, and that's what I've been preaching all week so far in practice. We have to play with pace uh, on the offensive end of the side when we're in our half-court offense. All right, explain pace. If pace you is when you get into your offense, whatever set you're running, you can't run it slow. You have to run it with some force. You have to run it with some pace. Uh, that's what I'm talking about with pace, and we were doing it like turtles, going real slow, and you can't do that. You cannot do that. Uh, so I, I'm excited about this week of practice, getting our guys back focused. Beautiful move by Marquise right there. Uh, in the pick and roll, he, he led us to a little comeback uh, by – by penetrating the defense, making the defense collapse. Beautiful pass to Ben Coupet right there. And uh, we were creeping back into the game. We were creeping back in. I thought our pace picked up a little bit, not as much as I wanted it to, Ray. But overall, we got back in the basketball game. This was another one where uh, Texas Arlington led uh, wire to wire, and we the game was tied a number of times, yes. and we never got over what I, we, we I was call just that magic, magical that hump. That magic number. We could get over the hump and maybe go up by three or four and put them on the defensive side and see how they reacted to that. Nice move by Nicole, a really beautiful move by him, putting the ball on the floor and getting a shot. And he's getting back in the groove. And he's getting back, back in the groove, and I told you, we, we need that, and hopefully he gets back in the groove. Marquise, a beautiful uh, bounce pass right there. Now, that play was run with some pace right there. I mean, it was run with some force, and it was run with some pace. Don't give the defense time to react. No, exactly, exactly. If you go slow, anybody can guard you. you run, when you guard the team with pace, it's hard to guard teams with pace. I know. I've been a defender my whole career. A nice nice pass by Marquise to Ben Coupet. So we're creeping back in the game, as you can see, 52-49. And another shot over there by uh, Jovan. So we're, we were right there and had a chance to win the basketball game. and didn't, We didn't close it out and give Texas Arlington credit. They did. 
Uh, I think the big difference in these two games, our guards cooled off a little bit, didn't yeah. shoot, shoot the rock as well as they Well, if you look at the two stats, I looked at the, I had ran our SRD guy give us our, our uh, last two game stats, and Marquise was shooting 37%. And uh, Marco was shooting 37 percent, so those were not good percentages from those two. No, because it, you, you like to go high low. Yes. And when you get the ball down down low, and then opens up the outside. Yes. It, it should. They had shots. Didn't yeah, knock them down. Didn't, didn't knock them down at all. It's a, it's a, the, the game is always about misses and makes. It is at every level. Uh, the final 76-65. Nicole had 13. Ben had 12. Marquise 11. Root 10. Yeah, uh, uh, but our guards. But our guards. Yeah. I needed Marco and, and Yovan to step up, and uh, Marquise played okay. But hopefully, these guys can play better against Arkansas State. All right, uh, your coaching staff, uh, a group of really good guys. You added an addition this year, and we're going to visit with those guys when we come back okay. with more of the Darrell Walker Coaches Show. Stay with us. Back in a moment. What's your current mood? Are you in the mood for tacos, burgers, pasta, or maybe sushi? We all have those days when we're just too busy to cook or go out for a meal. Enter Bite Squad. No matter what you're craving, you can order restaurant food on the Bite Squad app, and we'll deliver it right to your door. And the best part? No prepping, no cleanup, just really great food from your favorite restaurants. Bite Squad, food for your mood, delivered. Embarrassing, sad, shameful. There's never an acceptable reason for driving dirty. Not with Zip's Unlimited Wash Club. For as little as $14.95 a month, members join Unlimited Washes. That's less than 50 cents a day. So, show some pride and Zip's your ride. Join Zip's Unlimited Wash Club today. Zip's 3-Minute Car Wash. Zip in, zip out, zip on. Duck hunting with Evans is one of my favorite things to do. It's a tradition in our family, and we've been hunting for generations in Arkansas. I grew up hunting with my dad, and now I do it with Evan. And it allows us to spend time together. It allows us to be outside and enjoy Arkansas, teaching him about nature, teaching him about the life lessons that come with it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Shop Vail Chevy and VailChevy.com today. Make your lawn care a breeze this summer with outdoor equipment from Cleve Addy. Discover their large selection of Steel's newest products that run smoothly and last long to save you time and energy. Steel power tools are designed for reliability and built for the long haul. And when you buy your Steel products from Cleve Addy, you buy from a dealer with a rock solid reputation of providing excellent service. Come by Cleve Addy where our knowledgeable team can provide the guidance and advice to help select the right tools for you. Darrell Walker, you got three full-time assistants. Uh, Charles Baker, who, who, who's a veteran, and Baker's been around a long time. Alfred Jordan, who was with you at Car Clark yeah. Atlanta. Added Pre Preston Laird, who uh, played at Memphis, was a team captain, was a walk-on, had a great success story. And so these guys have done a really good job for you. I thought they'd done a great job of really recruiting. I told Coach Baker and and, uh, and, and Coach Jordan, who was with me at Clark Atlanta, that I thought we were too small last year. I said, you got to go out. we got to get some length. we got to get some athletic ability. Don't bring me anybody that's not my size or bigger. And they went out and did a great job of recruiting. As I mentioned, the three assistant coaches, uh, we're going to visit with all three of those, uh, starting with Preston Laird. Uh, several things, the first being Darrell Walker. Um, I paid attention to his background as a player, as a coach, uh, someone who's had a lot of success, been around some, some high level uh, coaches and players throughout his career. Um, I, I researched to see what he did at, at Clark Atlanta, um, what he was doing here, and it was something I wanted to be a part of. This basketball team has exceeded a lot of pe people's expectations. When you first came in, what were your expectations for this team? Um, that's always a tough, you know, tough question. You know, like you said, I was the new guy on the block, so there was some historical context that I was missing a little bit. Um, but I could tell once I set foot on campus and, and I was in a few practices and I saw the talent and the athleticism and the length and the skill that we had on the squad, that we, we were going to be a good ball club. Uh, again, I wasn't as familiar with the, the Sun Belt as a whole, the league. I've been out west for the past seven years. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I can't totally pinpoint it for you, but uh, I knew we were a good team um, and I knew we were going to win. In your opinion, who's been the surprise player? Um, the surprise player for me probably has been, um, probably been Rue. Um, 
When, when I saw him, I, I knew he was really good. I knew he had length. I knew he could move his feet really well. Um, but I didn't, I didn't realize who he was as a person, like his nastiness and his aggressiveness and his toughness. Um, and you need to have those, those things to play this game. Um, and they, they translate on the court. Uh, they, they mimic Coach Walker and his personality and who he was as a player. Um, so probably Rude the most, yeah. Alfred, talk a little bit about this staff. You were here a year ago. You, you like the makeup we got here? I absolutely love the hires that Coach Walker made, you know, the diversity that they bring. And, um, Preston coming from UNLV and also, you know, the places that he was at prior to UNLV, his experience is second to none. Grant, he worked under some very good coaches, Chris Beard that actually was here, he was with Tubby Smith, and uh, AJ bringing that Midwest flavor. I think the mix of the West Coast, Midwest, East Coast with myself, myself in the South, I think it's the perfect mix for a perfect staff. You were here a year ago. What changes have you seen, adjustments Daryl Walker's made? Oh, well, as a head coach. Well, Coach Walker is Coach Walker. You know, <laughs> I don't think he made many adjustments. I think the kids finally adjusted to him and they fully brought in. And um, a lot of coaches would tell you this maturity is a big thing. And, you know, starting all those freshmen last year and now with them being sophomores and them understanding the method behind Coach Walker's madness and fully buying in, you can see the difference on defense, offense, and, uh, you know, the mistakes that we used to make as far as turnovers, they're still out there, but it's getting better. And uh, free throws, which was one of our Achilles heels last year, I think you would agree with me that we're doing a way better job this year from the free throw line. Now, I know you New York guys stick together. So we've got you, Kamani, uh, Marquise. Anybody else coming? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I can't say names until it's officially signed on the dotted line. But, you know, I'm working on things. And, you know, I, I, I try not to just focus on the New York area. You know, I found Root in Alabama. I try to go all over. And, you know, prior to me getting the job, my first interview, they asked me what was my recruiting style. I told them if it's a player in Alaska, I'm going to put on my biggest jacket. And I'm going to go in Alaska and sit with them in an the igloo and convince them to come wherever I'm at. Coach Becker, you were here a year ago with Daryl Walker. You, you two have known each other a long time. Difference in last year and this year among the staff? Well, I mean, the, the, the staff has always been on the same page. I mean, uh, we've, uh, we've really tried to work hard and uh, identify the type of kids that can come in and help evaluate, help elevate our program. And one of the things Coach Walker talked about a lot last year was, was getting a lot more size out there in the land. And uh, by doing that, I think we've increased our margin for error. Uh, last year when a guy was late rotating, we got scored on. This year when guys are late rotating, they're having to shoot over guys 16 and 611 and, and we're blocking a lot of shots. So, uh, I mean, you want to you wanna play, you want to rotate, you want to not miss any assignments, but, you know, when you have the type of length, you, can, you know, it gives you a little cushion for error there. You recruited uh, our foreign players we got here. Is that is that how does that work? Well, you gotta you gotta know somebody <laughs> just like here. Uh, you gotta know somebody where you're going, and uh, you know over the years I've developed some relationships with people you know all over the world, and uh, you know it just so happened that it it paid off when I got the job here that there was some guys available who could really help our program and. Uh, so Coach and I went over there and, and uh, we had a chance to meet with parents and coaches and, and they thought it was a great opportunity and they trusted us enough to send their kids overseas. Yeah, Walker, those <laughs> guys are doing a good job for you. They, they're doing a great job. Any, any successful coach, it starts with your staff. And Chuck Daly always told me in the beginning, he said, Coach, let me tell you something, you better hire some guys that know just as much as you know or more uh, to make you successful. Charles Baker's been around a while. <laughs> only 20-something only 20, 20 years, Colorado State, Kansas State, you, you, you name it. He's been in some big-time programs. Mill, Tennessee, he's been in a lot of big-time programs. All right, enjoy traveling you guys on the road. We'll stay on the road this week. We'll go to a short trip up to Jonesboro. We'll talk about the ASU Little Rock matchup when we come back. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? 
Are you tired of climbing over that old outdated bathtub? What if I told you a brand new beautiful walk-in shower was only a phone call away? From Mountain Home to El Dorado, Bath Makeover of Arkansas is your trusted local source for bathroom remodeling. Bath Makeover offers a full line of bathtubs, showers, and accessibility products such as walk-in bathtubs and barrier-free shower bases. Bath Makeover products are made in the USA and include a lifetime warranty plus a five-year workmanship warranty. Take advantage of our winter savings sale. Call now to save 50% off labor. Don't risk a fall from the ladder trying to clean out clogged gutters. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas. Get the only patented leaf shedding and rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. The seamless design draws water in and keeps leaves out. Little Rock Trojan fans, act now to double your bonus from a $100 to a $200 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. 1-800-678-5862. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Darrell Walker started the show off saying your team had a one-game lead with mm -hmm. four games left in, in, this, in the Sun Belt. You like to talk about playing them one at a time, which e e every coach does. Well, I mean uh, it when I say it. <laughs> I, I know you mean it, but uh, this, is a, this is a big one at Arkansas State. Oh, they're all big. They're all been, they've been big all year. Uh, the, the two we just lost in Texas was, was, was big. Uh, we could have helped ourselves by winning some games down there, but this game, we got to go up and get back to winning. Uh, this, this year, we've lost two games in a row, maybe three or four times, and come back with some winning streaks. Uh, Arkansas State's going to be hungry for a win, so we got to go down and be prepared. What makes it so tough to win on the road? Well, I, I tell you, you have to lock in. Uh, you're not sleeping in your own bed. It's different rims. Uh, it's just totally different. But this young team has done a great job of locking in right on the road. What, we're 7-7 seven, seven on the road. Any coach in America could take 500 on the road right now, especially with a young basketball team like I have. So I think we'll be ready for Arkansas State Saturday. Your team is now 12-4, and 18-9 and nine overall. Mm -hmm. uh, when the season started, your expectations, how many wins you, you thought this team might get? Well, I know we had we had we had 10 wins last year, and I looked at the team and I looked at our talent, and it's no doubt in my mind I said we can win 18 games because if you just say, hey, I used to do five games set, you just win three out of every five games, you're going to win 18 games, and so far we have a chance to ex exceed that. All right, the Arkansas State game uh, a couple of Saturdays ago. Uh, here at the Jack Stevens Center, went right down to the wire to the final shot. As a matter of fact, it's like uh, it did last year. Yeah, got to be able to slow eating down a little bit. Well, he's he's going to be he's, he's he plays well against us all the time. Last year he played well against us, so hopefully we can lock in on eating. But they overall they have a really good basketball team. They're well coached, and we we have to lock in and we have to be play like a desperate team in my opinion, Ray. See if we can get some of our fans up in Jonesboro. Yeah, hopefully our fans <laughs> will come out, come on out and support us. Uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of bus loads to come on up there. We're going to need them, trust me. All right, game time Saturday up in Jonesboro is four o'clock. I uh, hope you can make it for that one. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Darrell Walker Show. We'll see you again next week. The Darrell Walker Show has been brought to you by Stevens Incorporated, Dullard's Department Stores, Cleve Addy, Bath Makeover of Arkansas, Zips Car Wash, and Leaf Guard of Arkansas. Go Trojans!